Exploratory data analysis is a very creative process as well as somewhat repetitive. Some of the commonly performed tasks as a part of EDA process are calculating basic statistics, understanding the relationship between data variables, understanding the distribution of data variables, analyzing missing values, and so on. These tasks are commonly performed with the majority of tabular data sets. Now you can go ahead and write a framework that can perform this task on different tabular data sets, but it will require you to write many lines of code to handle various scenarios and it will be hard to maintain. That's why in today's tutorial, I'm going to introduce you to a Python library named YData underscore profiling that can perform EDA on our tabular data set with just one line of code and it can handle different data types as well. This can save you a lot of time. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so as you can see on my screen, I have already started Jupyter Notebook and at the beginning of the notebook, I have highlighted important sections of this tutorial. So first of all, we will be loading the data set and then we will generate the report which will have the initial EDA. I will also explain you how you can save that report and then explore different uh, options of generating reports. And then we will also uh, generate reports which uh, compare to different data sets. So first of all, you need to install uh, Y data profiling. So you can do that using pip install and then you can give the library name and yeah the y data profiling library earlier used to be known by the name of pandas profiling but the company that was maintaining it y data they changed the name to y data profiling so that was just for information so first of all let's load the data set so i have decided to use a titanic data set so this data set is easily available on the internet so you can download it and I, it's a CSV file, so I have loaded it as a pandas data frame. And why data can generate reports? So why data profiling generate reports from pandas data frame? So you will need to load your tabular data set as a pandas data frame. So now that we have loaded our data set, as you can see, it has uh, information about uh, each passenger that was there on the Titanic. So passenger ID, survived or not survived, P class, name, and age, and ticket, fare, all all these uh, various attributes are available data variables and we want to perform initial EDA on this data set using Y data profiling. So let's go ahead and do that. So in order to do that, we simply need to import this class profile report from Y data profiling and to this class, we need to give our data set and then we can give some title to this report. So I will say pandas profiling report, simple title, and then I can execute this line of code. And as you can see, the code has executed immediately, but the report is not generated because this profile object by default is lazy. And when I will execute this line of code and then it will generate the report. So now it's performing various operations behind the scene. And now it will generate the report and it will display it inside Jupyter Notebook. So first of all, we will display the report in Jupyter Notebook and then we will save it as a independent HTML file, which you can open in your browser. So I will explain that as well. So as you can see, the initial report is generated. And as you can see, there are various sections in this report. So first is overview, then variables, then interactions, correlation, missing value, and so on. So in overview, uh, there is a high level overview of data sets. So how many columns are there? How many observations, a number of rows are present? How many missing cells are there? So count of missing values and missing cells percentage, whether there are any duplicate rows, size of this uh, data set in memory, average size of the record and so on. How many columns are numeric? So continuous columns, how many are categorical and how many are considered text? So it was uh, easily able to differentiate between categorical column and text column as well. So let's go ahead to the next section, which is uh, variables. So in this section, there is a drop down, which let us select which column we want to see. So let's select survived. And as you can see, it is showing us that it's a categorical column. It has two different values. It is over here in chart showing us the count of those uh, different values and distinct values percentage, whether there are any missing values or not and missing memory size. So if you want to understand single columns, so that you can do using this uh, variable section so over here, this is uh, age. So age is a real number or continuous column. And as you can see, it has 88 distinct values and there are missing values. 177 are missing values, which is 20% missing values. There is also distribution histogram over here. What is the minimum, maximum, whether there are any zeros, negatives and so on. So 
many different informations are available for you to check out okay, so you can go ahead and check so over here i have selected ticket column so it has considered ticket column as text because there are many different values same way for name if i go to name so that's also x column it did not consider this column as a categorical so that's a quite a good find on their side and as you can see it says there are 891 distinct values and they have also generated word cloud for us so as you can see mr mrs and miss and william is the very common name and so on yeah you can analyze individual variables using this part next part is uh, interaction so as you can see there are two tabs over here so i can select first tab will be x axis age and from the second uh, second uh, this tab we can select what is the column for y axis so this way we can analyze the relationship between different variables so what was the relationship between age and fair or what was the relationship between age and parch and so on so this section helps us uh, understand the interaction so relationship between data variables next is the correlation so in this section we can see correlation between data variables so they have gen generated a heat map for us for correlation and as you can see fair has a high correlation with the p class and so on so you can see correlation as well and there is a table as well if you want to see correlation values so they have generated table as well next is the missing values so they have few chart to understand missing values and these charts are generated using famous uh, python library named missing no that helps us generate uh, charts related to missing values so in this first chart as you can see they have shown the count of uh, values present in various columns and whenever the there are missing values so that column will have less count so age has a 714 counts so 80% of the values are present for age but 20% are missing same for cabin as you can see only 200 values are present so 20% of the values are present and 80% are missing values so you can do analyze missing value using this section and over here it's uh, this chart shows the distribution of missing, missing value throughout the data set so you can check like in which part the missing values are present so from 1 to 891 so this is the count of our uh, rows of our data set so in our case uh, it seems that missing values are there throughout the data set but it might happen that missing values might be present at the last at the beginning somewhere in the middle so you might be able to better handle it if you look at this chart and then there is a heat map as well available for looking at missing values and then the last section is a sample so this section helps you see uh, first few and last few rows of our data sets if you want to see what kind of data is over there so you can see the first few rows and last few rows from uh, this section which is sample rows yeah so this is the report this is uh, generated by uh, pandas profiling or y data profiling so let's go ahead and uh, understand how we can save this report so in this section we displayed the report in jupyter notebook but uh, we can save that report as html file so it's a very simple to save this report we simply need to call this function to file on this uh, profile profile object so let me do that so as soon as i executed it saved a file to current directory from where i am running this jupyter notebook so let me open it so let me open it in browser and as you can see this is the report that's saved so uh, it will be better to look at report by saving it as html so you can see it in full screen instead of displaying it in jupyter notebook but choice is yours so yes over here as you can see you can select columns and so on it's the same report which is available now as a html and there is also a function named to html so this function will generate html as a string so then you can save it to some file and do whatever you want to do and you can also convert the report to json if you're interested so it will report uh, it will return a report which has a json format but it's available as string so over here you will need to call eval function in order to convert it to dictionary or json format yeah so let's move on to next section so in this section i will explain you a few different uh, options 
which are there to modify the report so the first one is uh, minimal set to true so if you set minimal to true what happens is that uh, it won't include all the sections which were there earlier in our final report so let me execute this line of code and show you the final result and as you can see now there are only two sections available over here which is overview so overview of the data set and then there is a variable section so over here you can see individual columns but other sections like uh, interaction within the data sets so interaction between data variables what was the correlation missing values and the first few and last few samples those sections are not present so if you want to see like uh, what is uh, distribution of individual columns then you can use this parameter minimal to true and yeah it will be the minimal report and want to be detailed report another option is uh, lazy which you can set to false so as i said earlier the profile object by default is lazy so when you execute it only then the report will be generated so you can so set the lazy to false and it will generate the report immediately and you can also modify theme by setting orange mode parameter to two if you want orange uh, theme there is also dark mode parameter which you can set if you want uh, dark theme so let me execute and as you can see now i executed this line of code uh, it's uh, generating the report it's uh, executing various statistics and so on various functions so yeah now the report is generated when i executed this line of code so let me display you the report now it's rendering html and as you can see it's uh, orange theme so whatever theme you set that theme will be present so you can set dark theme or you can set orange theme so that's the one useful options lazy equal to true and so on another option is uh, sensitive which you can set to true so if your data set has some sensitive information then when you share this report with someone you might not want to show them records so if you remember uh, at the end of the report there were some rows that were getting displayed for the data set and you might have some medical records data set or any insurance company's data set and you don't want that someone's uh, private data is leaked as a part of this report so you can avoid that by setting this so sensitive to true so when you set sensitive to true what happens that that section won't be present so i have executed it and let's see and as you can see all the sections are present overview variables interaction correlation missing value and the last section where the few samples were getting displayed about the data set it is not present there because we set a sensitive to true right so let's move on to next section all right so let me explain you how you can compare two different data sets using y data profiling so that's what we are going to do in this section so first of all what i have done over here that i have divided our data set titanic df into the train set and test set so there are two different data sets and as you can see 712 entries are there in train data set and 179 in test data set and you might want to compare report uh, you might want a report that compares these two different data sets so data sets is about the same titanic but uh, there are two different data sets and this is commonly useful in machine learning where you might want to see distribution between train and test data set train test and validation data set so though i am over here using uh, two data sets you can compare three data sets as well so first of all from uh, y data profiling we import profile report and another function compare we need to import so we will generate report objects for train and test both, da both data sets so over here i have given train df and then test df so there are two reports and then we can call compare function and inside of this we can give list of reports so over here i have given two but if you have three data sets or four data sets then you can give that as well we will compare all of them so let me execute this line of code and as you can see it's uh, calculating various statistics yeah all right so it has completed so let me show you the report so it's a uh, generating final structure right rendering html and there we have our report so as you can see in this case now the overview section has uh, two entries train and test and as you can see it's showing us a uh, different comparison between these two so we can see how many missing values are there in train data set how many missing are there in test number of observations for data set so we can compare two data sets this way so 
for individual sections as well you can see count of uh, various columns and distribution of columns per data set so train and test train is represented with blue color and test is represented with red color same we can do with the interaction as well so over here relationship between parch and age is getting displayed in train and test sets so if there is a some kind of anomalies then you can see it by comparison report there is a correlation missing values and so on yeah so if you are interested in comparing two different data sets then you can do that as well using y data profiling yeah and you can save it as well by calling two file so over here i have saved comparison report.html all right so that's it for today's tutorial in today's tutorial i explain how you can perform eda with just one line of code using python library y data profiling so if you have a question or any doubts then please feel free to let me know in the comment section and see you next time